Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Island Outdoors 1. Today we're going to be looking at the Mercator Black Cat K55. You can see uh, it has a, a bale on it, but it doesn't come with this leather lanyard, uh, something I added. Uh, but it does have a nice metal bale that uh, you can hang it off things or put a lanyard on so uh, you can see how thin this knife is very thin in the pocket and uh, you can see the black cat this knife was produced in Germany since around 1867 and it's still being produced today back out give you a better look produced in Germany by Mercator and now it's a division of Otto, Otto Messer and uh, so this knife has a lot of history to it and they say uh, it was pretty much introduced in America after World War II a lot of the soldiers brought these home and uh, these weren't these were not issued to German soldiers but they uh, guessed that it was such a nice knife that the German soldiers bought it with their own money and uh, US soldiers just happened to uh, claim it off them after the war and they brought them back to the states and then it's rumored that these knives got to be in favor with gangs street gangs because of their slim profile and easy concealability and uh, lock back design made it pre preferable for the gangs but that this rumor as far as I know or urban legend maybe uh, so you can find this knife on Amazon for around twenty six ninety nine with prime shipping and uh, you can see it has a one piece handle here so this handles all one piece stamped fold it around to make the handle and we have some writing on the back of the spine and you can see it says Mercator Germany and there's your your backlock activation push that down it releases the blade I've also seen these models in solid brass. The handles are in solid brass. And I believe nowadays they're making blades in stainless steel, if that's something you desire. But this blade is a carbon steel. And uh, you can see it says Mercator in Germany. Solgen. and if I was a better reviewer I would have looked up what Solgen stood for uh, but very nice knife it's a drop point full flat ground you can see the blade thickness I'd say it's just slightly under an eighth of an inch. It may very well be just an eighth of an inch, but uh, you see it tapers to the point, has a nice thin point. Let's see if I can light the cutting edge up. There's the cutting edge. Uh, 
nice nice satin finish on the uh, the full flat ground blade you can see it has the grind marks but it is satin polished so it has a decent finish <clears throat> Excuse me, it is a pin construction. There's your pins here, here, and one through the bail loop. Uh, let me get the scale out and I'll give you a weight on this. Okay, here's our scale. Let's see how much it weighs. And this will be with a small hank of leather lanyard on it. And we're reading at 2.7 ounces. So, fairly light, fairly lightweight blade for the, the length of the blade. And uh, let me give you a few measurements. Closed length of the knife is, well, let's include the total length of the bale, which is four and three quarter inches with the bale or four and three eighths without the bale blade length is three and a half inches overall length we have eight and three sixteenths Overall length, uh, excuse me, it might be a hair longer. Counting the bale, overall length, if I can get it to stay on there, eight and a quarter inches, I would say. So, and the knife itself is only like a quarter of an inch thick. Maybe just a hair more of that if you measure the length of the rivets. But very impressive for if this knife had a pocket clip I think they would sell even more of these than they already do and I, I believe people that have uh, been into knives have heard about these and so they're still selling a bunch of these today but like I said if they could just add a pocket clip somehow to this Wow, I, it would just disappear in your pocket. Uh, if they put a thumb stud on it, or if they put a flipper on it, I don't, I don't know if they could with this design. But what, what a nice knife! Carbon steel, easy to sharpen. You gotta keep it oiled though, because if you don't, that carbon steel will rust on you. Um. I suppose this would be a great knife for forcing a patina, if that's something you're interested in doing. But where this is carbon steel, it will develop its own patina over time. And uh, I really like my knife, so I can highly recommend this knife to you. The Mercator. K 55K in carbon steel. Uh, thank you for watching. In my next video, we're going to take a look at the case back pocket. So, stay tuned.